Thank you very much. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Currently, I'm the acting chairman of the IoT Acceleration Consortium, and I'm also a professor at Kia University. I'm very happy, I'm delighted indeed to be here to be part of the signing of the MOU. So the I AIOT IO Consortium has a membership of 1,700 Japanese companies. Let me also tell you that we are very active in Japan. And last night, the Federal Chancellor Merkel and the Prime Minister Abe highlighted that there's a huge number of uh, medium-sized companies. There's also small and medium-sized companies which um, are active in you know, a most diverse field of industries. However, all of them have one thing in common. They are very much interested in the Internet of Things. And this is also reflected by the sheer number of uh, members of IoT Acceleration Consortium. So once again, our members tend to be very uh, diverse. There are SMEs, but there's also larger companies who are members of our consortium. Over and above that, we represent different industries. However, IOT, IOTI is the uh, connecting factor between all of us. And once again, I would like to highlight how happy we are about the close links with the European Union, which is why we're particularly pleased to sign this MOU today. So, Mr. Keyes van der Klauw, I would like to ask you to briefly address the audience. I'm really looking forward for the cooperation with Japan. And although the Internet of Things is bearing a big promise for the future, uh, and still a lot has to be done in technology, I don't think that technology is the bottleneck for the success of Internet of Things. I think it's very much about social innovation and the acceptance of technology in society and finding strong applications for the Internet of Things. And in order to be successful, a number of things have to happen still. One is the involvement of end users, people from society, in the development of innovation on the Internet of Things. We also need large-scale experimentation, which means that we should not invent all the solutions in the laboratory, but we should bring the laboratory to society and involve end users. We need platform approaches, and those platforms will enable small and medium enterprises and startups to embark on the Internet of Things. So the, the platforms will be provided by large players, but the value will for large-scale uh, large be provided by the small and medium enterprises. And we have to break silos. We have to break silos between the vertical companies, silos between small and medium enterprises and large enterprises. And this is very much what AIOTI stands for. The Internet of Things does not have borders. It doesn't stop with borders. And that's why I'm looking forward to the cooperation with Japan. Japan has a very strong history, not only culturally, but also in adopting technology in society. And I think we can learn from each other, and this is an excellent opportunity to work together. AIOTI is bringing a few hundred members and rapidly growing, and we look forward to this cooperation. Now, I would like to ask you to sign the Memorandum of Understanding. The MOU has been signed. Can I ask you to shake hands? And I'd also like to ask uh, the other ladies and gentlemen present to get closer so that uh, you will appear on the photograph.
以上をもちまして署名式を終了いたします。Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the signing ceremony. Thank you very much.